Child and Youth Finance International, reshaping the future of finance. Child and Youth Finance International is a movement that has the vision to create and strengthen systems, structures and policies that transform children into financially empowered economic citizens. We seek to teach youngsters about saving, teach them entrepreneurial skills, teach them to believe in themselves and help them build their assets. Essentially, we want to give children a choice. This will be integral to breaking the cycle of poverty and creating a new generation of responsible economic citizens who can reshape the future of finance. The mission of Child and Youth Finance International, or CYFI as we are also known, is to ensure that all children and youth have a savings account and economic citizenship education. In this mission, the movement's first goal is to reach 100 million children in 100 countries by the end of 2015. We can only reach this goal by collaborating our efforts, and we hope to welcome all of you as partners to the movement. To achieve the movement's goal, CYFI is coordinating a series of interlinked initiatives that focus on the entire financial ecosystem for youngsters. These have been formed in collaboration with stakeholders from across the world. Our activities include regional, global and local platforms. This refers to the creation of regional, global and local platforms to ensure the sharing of knowledge and cooperation among stakeholders. Economic citizenship education. We are working on increasing economic citizenship with the aim of including this form of education in national curricula. Child and youth friendly products. We are working with financial institutions to assist them in creating and certifying child and youth friendly banking products, mainly savings accounts. Innovations. We are looking at innovative solutions for increasing financial access and economic citizenship, particularly through the use of technology. Publications. Through our publications, we are making sure that our work is documented and that partners are given the tools to conduct their own national activities. Let's take a closer look at the activities of the movement. Global, regional and local platforms are a main focus of the movement's activities. Through these platforms, we ensure that global and regional stakeholders collaborate and share knowledge in an open and participatory manner. Through these collaborations, national and regional action plans can be formed. A key means of bringing together global stakeholders is the unique Child and Youth Finance Global Summit. The first one was held in early 2012 in Amsterdam. It brought together 346 senior level participants from 83 countries, representing financial authorities, ministries of education and finance, financial institutions, multilateral agencies, civil society organisations, academics and many more. A special feature at the summit was the participation of 70 youngsters from 40 countries who presented their key recommendations to policymakers. At the summit, awards were given to leading countries and organisations for their achievements in the field of child and youth finance. This year, the Global Summit will be held in Istanbul, Turkey, from the 7th to the 9th of May. It is expected to gather 400 key stakeholders from 100 countries. It's being co-hosted by the Capital Markets Board of Turkey. Child and Youth Finance International invites you to attend this year's Global Summit in Istanbul and to join the movement. A key outcome of the Global Summit in 2012 was the request by participants to foster regional discussions. In the second half of 2012, five regional meetings were organised by the CYFI Secretariat with the support of key players from across the regions. The Mexican Ministry of Finance and Ministry of Education co-hosted the first Latin American regional meeting and the Central Bank of Nigeria co-hosted the meeting for Africa. In Europe, Her Royal Highness Princess Mathilde of Belgium inaugurated the Regional Meeting for Europe, which was organised with the Financial Markets Authority of Belgium. This was followed by the Regional Meeting in the Middle East and Northern Africa, which was integrated into the agenda of the Annual Union of Arab Banks Meeting. The Asia and Pacific Regional Meeting was co-hosted by the Central Bank of the Philippines under the patronage of Governor Armando M. Tatanko Jr., as published here. With the support of the Pacific Islands Working Group, we would look forward to the possibility of holding a sub-regional meeting in the Pacific Islands. Economic citizenship education. For the movement, this refers to an education that allows the child to build in themselves, understand the basics of money and finance, build their assets and create their livelihoods. To help countries and organisations develop or adjust curriculums, CYFI has created the Economic Citizenship Learning Framework, which combines three core components, financial, social and livelihoods education. The framework was developed in collaboration with the CYFI Education Working Group, 
which is co-chaired by UNICEF and the OECD and prominent experts in education. Countries and organisations can have their curriculum assessed by this framework. We invite you to send us your material. Here is a quick summary of the learning framework and the key learning outcomes by age and components. Key learning outcomes serve to increase knowledge as well as skills within a child. All components must work together to ensure full economic citizenship. Child and youth friendly products. Along with the right education, financial inclusion and protection are key in forming economic citizenship. Today, almost 99% of children and youth are unbanked. We are working with financial service providers to change this through the provision of appropriate products for children and youth, particularly savings accounts. Working with financial regulators across the world, CYFI has identified key standards for what is defined as a child and youth friendly product. These are based on the availability and accessibility of financial products to children and youth, the child friendly nature of communication strategies, the level of control for the child, the presence of positive financial incentives, the link with financial education components and their reach to children who are not reached by conventional banking channels. To ensure the increased availability of these products, Child and Youth Finance International works with partner banks to develop these products, using a guide that was created in collaboration with UNICEF and KPMG. We also train banks using our wide network of consultants who offer their services as trainers. Finally, we certify the products, based on criteria developed by KPMG and Deloitte. You too can ensure increased availability of child and youth friendly banking products by referring your banks to create or certify these products. The movement is constantly unlocking new solutions to increasing access and economic citizenship education for youngsters. One such innovation is School Bank. The School Bank initiative seeks to transform the school into a facilitator between children and financial institutions. It combines mobile telecommunications technology, mobile applications producers, financial institutions and schools. Currently, the School Bank initiative is set to pilot in Mexico, India, Philippines, Mongolia, Nigeria, Tanzania and Kenya. We invite you to develop policies to facilitate School Bank in the Pacific Islands. As a movement for youngsters, we are also careful to ensure that children and youth play a key role in the movement. Therefore, children and youth are involved in a series of initiatives that the Secretariat is promoting and leading. The School and Youth Awards are open to schools, NGOs and youth and encourage youth to share their views and opinions on the financial issues that matter most to them. 150 youth finalists will be attending the Global Youth Summit in Istanbul, where they will present their recommendations to policymakers. Schools and youth in your country can also apply for the awards. Our publications act as tools for understanding different activities relating to child and youth finance. The following publications can be found on our website. You're invited to visit the website at www.childfinanceinternational.org where you can download the publications for your perusal. As it is fast approaching, we would also like to take a minute to tell you about one of the exciting activities undertaken by the movement, Child and Youth Finance Week. Child and Youth Finance Week is a global celebration of the financial issues of children and youth and will take place from the 15th to the 21st of March. Activities are organised by national authorities in collaboration with national stakeholders. Activities can include fun visits by schools to the banks, a visit to the money museums or a national financial awareness campaign. We expect around 50 countries to take part this year. We invite you to take part and have the chance to win the country award. So what has the movement achieved so far? By combining the efforts of all stakeholders in the network, the movement has been able to reach over 18 million children and youth since its inception. The movement has gained the endorsement of the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, as well as support from the G20, which has included child and youth finance in its mandate. The Union of Arab Banks has recognised the movement's efforts with an award. Countries are starting their national activities in child and youth finance. For example, after having attended a CYFI meeting, the Central Bank of Morocco took the lead in launching a national child and youth finance day and week in their country, for which they won an award. On the 19th of March this year, they will officially launch the Moroccan Foundation for Financial Education. This is a national body that will oversee child and youth finance issues in Morocco. 
another 19 countries across the world are taking similar steps to create national strategies. The CYFI certificate and child and youth friendly banking standards are increasingly being used. Recently, the World Savings Bank Institute, a network of 112 banks and associations, has agreed that every child should have access to a savings account. The standards are currently used by 14 banks and MFIs in three continents. Partner financial institutions are aiming to reach over 4 million children through child and youth friendly banking accounts. The movement has come a long way towards reaching its targets. With your help, we can reach children in the Pacific Islands. We invite you to join the movement today. Here's how. Include children and youth in the agenda of the Pacific Island Working Group and develop an action plan for the area. Become an official partner by sharing your commitment to furthering the movement. Join the celebration of the Child and Youth Finance Week on 15th to 21st of March by organising your own events and linking children and youth with their peers from around the world. We would like to invite you to our upcoming Global Summit from the 7th to the 9th of May in Istanbul, Turkey, to collaborate with other regional and international stakeholders. Nominate your organisation for a Child and Youth Finance Award to highlight your achievements in this area. We look forward to bringing the Child and Youth Finance Movement to the Pacific Islands and we are sure that together we can reshape the future of finance. We look forward to hearing from you. You're invited to visit our website www.childfinanceinternational.org and to contact us at karen at childfinance.org. Thank you very much for this opportunity.